Hey guys, Stitching May here. Just going to try to do a quick video, <laughs> quick video on this Rit Dye, um, dye Fixative. Um, I mentioned in my last video that I was a little bit worried about using these Classic Color Works um, threads because they weren't color fast and then I'm pretty rough on my projects and I do like to wash my projects. Um, let me also mention and apologize for my voice. I'm having a pretty rough bout with my allergies. Ragweed is my um, nemesis <laughs> and it's getting to me really bad this year. So anyway, um, I picked this up last night at Walmart and you can just get the fixative online but when I priced it online it was like seven or eight dollars for a bottle of fixative and last night when I was at Walmart getting other things we found this kit and it's called the Dye Perfection Kit and it came with a fixative. It's also got like a color remover and stuff that I probably won't use but it was cheaper than just buying the fixative online. So I got this and I'm just going to use the fixative out of it. Um, it does come with a spray bottle. I have no clue why because none of the instructions tell you how to use it as a spray. Both things include like a washing machine and then doing it in a tub of water. So I'm not sure. Um, my instructions at Sink Top were to mix um, two tablespoons with hot water and or four tablespoons with three gallons of hot water. I'm doing a gallon and a half of hot water to two tablespoons because I don't have a three gallon tub. Plus with it just being a little bitty floss there's no sense in having a huge three gallon tub. So anyway I've already got it mixed in. It's still rather warm. It's not hot hot but it's enough. <laughs> Um, I've already done two colors, and oddly enough, when I put these in the hot water, neither one of these bled at all. I did the polywog and the khaki mocha. I did the polywog first, and um, when it didn't bleed, I then added the khaki mocha. I didn't want to add a red or a darker color because I was afraid if that one bled, it would mess up the polywog. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and put caterpillar in now, and just stir it around. Let's see if this one bleeds. This one's got a little bit more variations to it, so I'm betting it's got a little bit more dye in it here and there. I'm trying not to get a rat's nest on this one like I did last time. And the way the um, instructions say, you want to see? You can see, buddy. Just don't touch. It says, um, for sink or stove top, add four tablespoons of dye fixative to three gallons of hot water. For each half pound to three-fourths pound of dry fabric, add fabric, stir constantly for 20 minutes, rinse in cold water and cleanse, con rinse in cold water and dry, clean container with hot water and cleanser. So, I'm just going to kind of mix it around. I'm trying to be a lot more careful this time and not tangle my threads, because I've got a fun rat's nest to take out. And my sister is here with my son. I'm not completely ignoring him. I know his needs are being met by my sister, so. You getting a yogurt, buddy? <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of mix it around. I'm going to stop because I know you don't want me to watch, watch me stir floss for 20 minutes. So I'm going to stop here and I'll pick back up whenever I'm rinsing it. Okay, so I've been mixing for 20 minutes, so I'm going to pull the first color out and rinse it. As you can see, none of the colors have ran, run, ran, however you're supposed to say that. Um, but now, I don't know that they wouldn't have without the fixative or what, but I'm just going to rinse this out really well. And just as a disclaimer, I use at your own risk. Please don't use on high dollar silks, and then when it runs and ruins them, you know, come to me and say it's my fault. No way in endorsing this. I'm just showing you what it does. <laughs> but I'm just rinsing it out very well. And you see that, there, I mean, it's, it's rinsing clean the whole time. And I also mentioned Shannon Green earlier, and I guess I kind of should explain to some of you floss tubers, because y'all probably don't know her. She's not a floss tuber. She is a paper crafter mixed media artist. Awesome, awesome, awesome videos. 
absolutely love watching her videos and I'll put a link to her channel in the description. I know some of you guys are probably like, oh, Mr. Floss Tuber. She's not a Floss Tuber. She, she does do crafty videos though. My son's running around having fun. Are you trying to help me, buddy? Yeah. Yeah? Like I've got noodles on a plastic knife. And I guess I should know. I didn't notice the smell, but my sister says that it smells kind of like I don't know if you guys have ever dyed your Easter eggs <clears throat> with the vinegar, but she says that that's what it smells like in here. It smells kind of like Easter egg dye. <laughs> okay, and now I'm going to try the red. I'm going to actually have to redo my water, so I'm going to turn off again, and I'll come back when I'm mixing up the water. Okay, so I have new hot water here, and I'm not putting the dye yet. I actually took the spray top off because I'm not going to use a spray top. I don't know why it came with the spray top. But, um, a tablespoon is 15 milliliters, so I'm using one of these oral syringes that I will not use for anything else later. And I'm just pulling up the dye, and so I'm doing two tablespoons I need a little of 30 mLs because one is 15 mLs and these are 5 mL syringes so just kind of mixing it in it's not really colored it's kind of a yellowy color Five, I think. <laughs> you lose count. I think. I can't even cross did you're losing count. That's not good. Apparently, I can count. That's why I have to frog so much. And then mix it in. <clears throat> and now I'm going to put in this roasted chestnut. I actually have two skeins of this, so I'm going to put them in together. Kind of curious to see if this red runs because reds are usually the ones that run when they run. So far, it's not. It's gonna sink to the bottom. You can really see the irrigation when it gets red, wet, so you can see the different colors. But I'm just gonna start stirring. No, I don't see any running. I don't know. They say they're not color fast, but maybe they did that just to be safe. That's their disclaimer like mine earlier. <laughs> but that's it for right now. I'm not going to make you watch me stir this for 20 minutes. And I'm probably not going to even make you watch me mix these out. Just if you're at all interested, you're welcome to try it. Again, it's the Ret Dye Fixative. And I got mine in a perfection kit or dye perfection kit. But you can buy just the plain Ret. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Okay, so after a few more minutes... You can kind of see that the color of the water is changing some. It's kind of got a reddish tint to it. And when I bump it, you can kind of see some of the color coming out. So, these classic color works are in fact, like they say, not color fast. But it's not bad. It would be enough to probably ruin a project if you had a light colored project. But it's not really clear anymore. It's kind of got a reddish tint to it. So what I'll do is after I'm done with these, I'll change this water out completely before I do my last red current and I'm very curious to see how that red does so if it adds a lot of color I'll throw that in the video as well this is the water for the roasted chestnut flosses after 20 minutes in there you can see that it completely did lose some color it's definitely a different color but the neat thing is is that when I'm taking this out and rinsing it in the cold water and do it without dropping it in here. It is rinsing clear. So it looks like it may have actually worked. Because when I'm rinsing this now, it's rinsing clear. No colors coming out when I rinse. So I'm going to change out this water and do the red current. And now I'm kind of excited to see how much color comes off the red current. But, um,. That's everything for right now. I don't know if I'll be back again. I keep saying that's it. So we'll see. 
So the water from the red currant was not as impressive as it was from the roasted chestnut. It did rinse clear once I um, had had soaked it and then went to rinse it. It did rinse clear. Um, I don't know. There were two of the roasted chestnuts, so I don't know if that's why I got such an impressive color from it. Um, so of these four, which is the polywog, the khaki mocha, the caterpillar, and the pebble beach, those didn't run at all. Um, the roasted chestnut did, and the red currant did, kind of, which those are more red, so I expected that. But they are currently drying on this white towel after being, you know, rinsed in the, in the cool water, and they're not bleeding onto the white towel. Which to me make, I mean, they're wet and they're kind of, you know, rubbing on here. I've, I've kind of patted them and um, squeezed some of the water out and they haven't really bled any. So that's kind of impressive to me. So I think it worked. I've never, I can't really say that it works, I guess, because I've never rinsed a classic Color Works, not Color Fast thread without the fixative. But I will say that right now that they're not running. So I would feel comfortable stitching this and washing my project with this now. So, or I will. So, but that's really everything. And this really is the end of the video. <laughs> so thanks for watching.